more. So for today's episode, I am going to dissect a frog. But before anything else, I would like to introduce myself. So I am Pity Brain Estepa. Your student nurse for today. Hi, I'm now wearing my laboratory gun and I already performed the hand hygiene before putting this on. But I think we're not ready yet because I need also to wear a surgical mask. A safety goggles and gloves for protection. And here are the materials to be used in this dissection. We need a dissection kit that comes with a flopper, a scalpel, magnifier, probe, set of pins, dissecting scissors, and thumb for them. We also need a dissection tray that holds a specimen during dissection. Paper towels used for cleaning, buy a bag for disposal, and formalin for the preservation of the specimen. And lastly, our frog specimen. I think we're now ready for the dissection. Let's go! Before the experiment, we need to render the frog insensitive to pain through feeding procedure. Feeding will destroy the brain, which is located between the eyes but it is relatively painless to the frog. So hold the frog with the lower extremities extended and grasp the frog with the first finger under the jaw and second finger on the nose. Move probe down midline until you come to the soft spot. I think this is it. Insert the probe quickly into the cranial vault and sever the brain and spinal cord. I move the probe into the cranial vault and move it from side to side to destroy the brain. Now I can feel inside the cranial vault, but the frog can fit anything. So the frog is now paralyzed. Without the brain, perception of any sensory phenomena is impossible. For the first procedure, Lay the frog from ventral surface upon the dissecting tray. I spread out its limbs and I will use a pin to secure them to the tray. So another pin for the another limb. So let's move to the front legs. We can now observe the external anatomy of the frog. The division of a frog's body includes the head, trunk, front legs, and hind legs. Moving on, we can dissect the frog to observe its internal anatomy. Upon opening the frog, I will use the incision guide and cut along the midline of the body to the four limbs. Then make a transverse cut just above the legs and just below the arms. Now, I will use forceps to lift the skin between the hind legs and make a small incision with the scissor. And continue to cut along the midline of the body to the four limbs. Being careful to cut through the skin only. Make a transverse cut just below the arms. Now let's also make a transverse cut just above the legs. After making incisions, we need to pull up the skin to loosen some of the tissue that connects the skin to the muscles. So I will use a scalpel.
Then, we we'll repeat the procedure on the other side. Then, pull the resulting flaps back and pin them to the dissecting pan. Let's repeat the incisions as before, but this time cutting through the muscle layer to the point just below the arms. And it's important to lift the muscle with forceps to prevent cutting the organs underneath. When we reach the area just below the arms, turn the scissors and make horizontal cuts through the hard sternum. Repeat the horizontal cuts just above the arms and then remove the bunny strips entirely. We can now see the internal organs and let's identify them first before cutting any of them out. First, let's identify the heart. The heart has a triangular shape and it's just above the liver. Next is the yellow finger-like projections which is the fat bodies. Third, let's find the liver. The liver is the biggest organs in the frog's body and one of the most noticeable structures. It's brownish and composed of three big structures or lobes. Next organ is lungs, which is underneath the heart and liver. Later, let's move the heart and liver so we can clearly see them. Next, let's locate the gallbladder. It is a small sac under the lobes of the liver, where digestive bile is stored for the frog's digestive system. Curving from underneath the liver is the stomach. The stomach is the first major site of chemical digestion, and then connects to the small intestine. As I follow the small intestine down, it will widen into the large intestine. Next, let's find the spleen. This dark spherical object serves as a holding area for blood in the spleen. This opens into a chamber called the cloaca, the last stop before solid waste, sperm, eggs, and urine exit the frog's body. We can also see the first straight portion of the small intestine which is the duodenum. We can see also the curled portion which is the ileum. It is held together by a membrane called the mesentery. Note the blood vessels running through the mesentery will carry absorbed nutrients away from the intestine. So absorption of digested nutrients occurs in the small intestine. Now we're ready to separate the organs. Let's remove first the tree lobe liver. Second, let's remove the heart. We can see that the heart is still beating. Third is the lungs underneath the heart and liver. Next, let's remove the small gallbladder. Then the curved stomach. And lastly, the large and small intestine. We're going to remove now the excess skin of the frog using forceps and a scissor. So all in all, there are 9 organs found in this dissection. Stomach, fat bodies, gallbladder, small and large intestine, lungs, heart, liver and spleen so after which i will preserve the frog specimen and its organs in a container soaked with formalin for future experiment now we're ready to clean up our workplace and disinfect the used dissection tools also the disposal of waste Okay, that's all for today. 
Again, I am Pity Brina Stepa, your student nurse for today. Bye!